bring up some of the past when I started coaching, but all of them are dead. <laughs> <laughs> really appreciate you much bringing up David Ross and Tim Hudson. Boy, that's a great memory. <laughs> that was so much fun. Anything you want to know about that ball game, I can still remember it. And uh, David, of course, is just, gosh, he's such a wonderful class guy. I got to hear him speak at a church service just recently, and he's, a, he's just one of a kind. Just, uh, and I do know, I, I, I go over to Panama City some and run into a lot of Auburn people, and y'all are a very unique university, very, very close-knit. It's uh, very similar here with this university of ours. We're just, we're just close-knit. We're very, very proud to host these teams that got here because they deserved to be here. We are, again, very excited to be still playing. And uh, Butch is right when he said what he said about you can play well <coughs> last week. That was last week. Tomorrow, totally different story. It's time for us to be ready to go. We're playing a very good program. I watched them take BP and was a very, very disappointed human being when I got to my car to go get something to eat and there was a dent in my dead gun car. <laughs> <laughs> I will never park beyond that left center field wall again. What guy hit two days over the central? I ain't never gone that direction when I played. <laughs> Got hit two out to center field. We know that every team here is capable of winning this thing. Appreciate all of you being here. Ask away. If I don't know the answer, I'll take it. <laughs> what, what changed down the stretch? Excuse me? I said, what changed for your team down the stretch? Man, you talk worse than I do. I can't understand. <laughs> uh, you know, I wish I did. I wish I had something to say. It's just one of those things we got some folks back. And isn't it amazing? You look at all the coaches, too, and I can say to the coaches, it's amazing what one guy can do to a lineup. But it's one of those things that I think one guy, when Jay Luke got better, and of course, Men, uh, Mendoza, we call him Mendo. Mendo got back in there. It seemed to really ignite us. But you still got to be able to get them out, and we have been pitching better. So I think really those two combinations are the, are one of the reasons that we played like we did last week. Coach, what was your reaction when you uh, first looked at Tennessee Tech and their uh, offensive numbers? Obviously astounded. 96. 96, is that what they, 96 home runs? Uh, I don't care if you play seven Venus de Milo's and two Statues of Liberty. We can't get that many out. That's one of those, one of those stats that you just do a double take. They're very, very, very talented. So I was just trying to clarify. So Tennessee Tech dinged up your car during batting practice? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, when you think about just this regional and the talent that's in it, I mean, how would you, I guess, describe to someone what you guys are getting into? Because in a sense, you could almost argue it's like a group of death in a way. It's, it's just we all understand that's where we are this time of the year. You've just got to go out and do the little things. And if something does happen, be mentally tough enough, tough enough to overcome it. But every one of these teams are talented. Mike, what's been the key to your bullpen the last week, week and a half? Because it struggled a lot in conference play. I, I think Mike Bell is is the one that deserves all the credit. He has worked very hard uh, throughout the year with the guys that are so important, the, the Clayton Kwiatkowski's and and the uh, Alec Bird and, and Chase Haney, and of course the decision that we made to to move Drew to the pen, uh, we thought 
was a good movie. But he deserves so much of the credit, and I think that when they enjoyed success, it carried over to their next outing. Mike, what does it say about Paris that you guys are willing to go with him starting off? Oh, he's he's picked, been one of our one of our guys, so to speak. I mean, he's been in the rotation all year, and uh, we just we feel like that uh, he matches up well with who we're playing. If that's possible, because they, they faced a number of left handers this year that didn't slow them down. But I just like the way the young man competes. And that, that's a, as a freshman, you have to see that side of it to know that you're going in the postseason to start out that round. Yeah, he's uh, he's a guy that enjoys pitching anytime, anywhere, and I think that. Uh, when Butch said what he said about the league preparing players to be in a situation like this, that has certainly been the case with Drew Parrish. What was the pitch that David Ross hit out? It was the second or third breaking ball. <laughs> <laughs> and I've gotten over it. <laughs> Radio announcer, radio announcer, y'all love this one. <laughs> Me, that was his mama's nickname to him. Me is saying, he is in California. And back then, we didn't have the real uh, cell phones. We just had those big old things. And my daughter put that big old cell phone and cut the radio on. Well, the late Lee Bowen was doing the announcing. And when David swung at the second curveball, he tipped it, and the ball went off the catcher's mitt, and Lee went, swing and a miss, strike three, Seminoles win. Well, Mike immediately put his phone down because he's in true ball, and he had to get to the ballpark. So then he gets that night, and he calls his sister, and his sister says, he said, what are you talking about, Mary Beth? Don't go playing jokes. <laughs> she said, no, some guy hit the ball out of the ballpark and we lost. <laughs> I've forgotten the whole weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and then we did Hudson the next day. Man, next question. <laughs> Corey. <laughs> Mike, on, yes, sir. On to happier times. Um, how much of a relief is it playing at home and hosting a regional? Because a week and a half ago, you guys thought you were going to be on the road. I never said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long story. I, I did pop off. For me to say it doesn't mean anything would be one of the ball faced lies. It means an awful lot to play in your own backyard and it's exciting it's it's a, a reward but I tell you what it's the people in the administrative area that make this a great regional when we get the opportunity to host because they do it by the book and it bugs the ever-loving heck out of me. But we do it right. And I think that's the way every regional should be run. And it goes back a long time. But one guy in the back was very instrumental in running it that way. And it's carried over to others. And it makes us as Seminoles proud because it's the way it should be run. Uh, what was a more painful Auburn home run, David Ross or the one that Frank Thomas hit here? David Ross. Frank Thomas, I didn't even throw no more strikes to him the rest of the tournament. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most intimidating hitter I've ever in all my years. Love lady, you couldn't hit water if you fell out of a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, 
Greg played for a team that's 500 miles south of here. Did y'all ever lose when you came in here? <laughs> <Y'all> just... <laughs> anyway, it was uh, it was fun competing against Greg when he was a player. Folks, again, thanks for being here, and uh, all of you are responsible for the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.